today's Urbandon video we are showcasing the shuttered Bonacord Baths, located in Aberdeen, Scotland, that have been vacant since 2008. The huge property contains many leisure facilities overlooked by Art Deco architecture, including a 120-foot swimming pool. Since closure, parts of the building have been vandalised, whilst others remain untouched, consumed by natural decay. Join us as we walk through the historic structure. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. With the leisure centre in populated territory, we had to be cautious entering, but after a calculated approach we were inside the silent site. Bonacord is a rare example of an interwar baths, having been completed in 1940, although the foundation stone was laid in 1936 the property costed more than £35,000 to construct. Budget cuts resulted in the spectacular building's demise in the late 2000s, and as we were about to see, a lot had changed. I'm pretty sure this is one of the nicest pools that I've ever seen. Hopefully it comes across on camera how vast it is. I'd say if it didn't have this crap graffiti then it would probably be my favourite. But it's still amazing. The clock up there is stuck at 20 past 3. Don't think it will ever go again to be honest. I love the staircase. It reminds me of one of the baths we did last year, but it's just on a much larger scale. Is this the best viewpoint? Over 120 foot long and 42 foot wide, the gargantuan pool goes to a maximum depth of 15 foot. With a towering arch ceiling held up by concrete arches, it allowed for the large ornate windows that absorbed the room with natural light. It was designed in the 30s to provide a public baths in the centre of Aberdeen, as the current one was situated beside the sea. The pool's publicity allowed for visitors to have a swim whenever they wanted throughout the day. Also, many galas were held at the baths, with over a thousand possible spectators able to watch from the sidelines. Today the space is abandoned, but still boasts a lot of its original architecture, such as the timber seating and sculptured concrete diving board platforms. With what appears to have been a small fire on one side of the premises, it shows how important it is to document a place like this which holds so much character, before anything worse might happen in the future. I like the simplistic colour scheme. So obviously the changing rooms, I'm pretty sure on the door it said these were the, the male ones. All buildings like this, so nice when they don't board up the skylights, although I say that, and that one's boarded up. When there's natural light coming through, it's such a good experience as an explorer. Broken glass causes accidents. They must have had some form of event involving broken glass where someone got hurt. I can't imagine them just thinking of putting up that sign just randomly. There has to be a reason. A three-storey portion of the site features the other leisure facilities the site had to offer. In the centre of the section is the entrance lobby with a closed-off reception area. The walls use rippled sycamore timber panelling as well as chrome fittings. Got some gym equipment. Are these bikes? I think so, yeah. 
No. I'm rather in the corridor. Some really nice natural decay in here. Unsmashed mirrors. I wonder why they're unsmashed if the rest of the building is covered in graffiti. Although to be fair, there's not many smashed windows in the rest of the building. Most of which have been sealed up. We soon realised that this region of the baths had hardly been affected by the vandalism the rest knew so well. Perhaps in the past it was locked up and the swimming pool was separated. It shouldn't be asbestos. No, I don't think so. Barely any mould on the walls. No. Nothing in there? No. Fine. No. What is an Electrolux wasgator? It's just a dry cleaner. Steam room. And there's a sauna here as well. Peeling paint was amazing in certain rooms where the light could reach. In early days it seemed that some parts of the structure had relied entirely on daylight to make spaces visible. Although there wasn't much equipment or furniture left behind, it was one of the abandoned places that we have visited where architecture was the most prominent interest point. It seemed to vary in each room we entered. Relaxation lounge. It's a contrast between old woodwork and then tiling like this. Oh, this is cool. In this beautifully clean and tiled room lied a plunge pool, which is a shallow and compact pool built for relaxation, with methods used such as hydrotherapy and aquatic exercise. There was one more area we hadn't looked at just yet, so to finish our coverage of the property we headed back downstairs to find it. Why was it all left? Some of them look like they'd still work. Yeah, exactly. For some reason, lots of gym equipment was left in this hall, and most of it appeared to function still. They really don't like photography in the... This building. In fact, a lot of it doesn't work. <laughs> Those light bulbs are old school. With this discovery, it was time to leave the timeless structure with what might seem to be an unknown future. It is one of our favourite former leisure sites we have visited and was totally worth the long journey up north. However, there is potential for future use of the decaying pool and the rest of the building too. The baths have been placed on the market for sale multiple times, but each time has failed to get a successful bidder. 
there is a campaign with the end goal to save Bonacord Baths, which have been trying to raise funds and get a lease on the building for years, in the hopes to renovate it into a community-run facility. Although these schemes are ambitious and little has occurred so far, we hope that some form of life can be given back into the crumbling structure long term. If it would become a community serving building, it would be the perfect result as it's how the bath started all those decades ago. Here are some of our photographs from our visit to the Leisure Centre. If you would like to see more, check out our Instagram page in the description where we post images from our explorers months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching the video. We have an updated Patreon page down below if you wish to support the channel to help us improve our videos for the future. See you next time.